Hey guys, welcome to my meal prep video. Super excited to make this. Now, my order doesn't come until Wednesday of next week. So today, all I'm doing is cutting up the chicken necks that I have in my freezer to prepare for my meal prepping because there are certain meals that contain chopped chicken necks. Figured I would do it now because I already have it and I'm not waiting for it to come in instead of doing it all at one time because meal prepping for a month for four ferrets can be a little hectic and you'll see why. All right, so I already have it defrosted and ready to go. I'm going to put on my gloves because I can't do anything without these gloves. And let's just get right into it. So, I have necks from both hair today and my pet carnivore. finished chopping all of these necks. My hands are hurting. <laughs> so these are what's going to be added to some of the meals on the days that I am feeding necks. And the reason why I add these to the grinds is because the grinds themselves, just the bones are not big enough to clean their teeth. So this really helps clean their teeth. Uh, throughout the week. So that is why I have done this. The next time I talk to you guys is actually when we do the entire meal process. I've got all the containers, most of them ready to go. And Patsu is excited as well. You excited to try some new stuff? Say bye-bye. Oh, don't film me. <laughs> Get my good side. Hey guys, good morning. I just got the notification that my meat order has arrived, so I need to go get that from outside and prepare to thaw out everything in the sink. So I'll show you how I do that in just a second. Okay, so the sink is full of cold water. I've got two containers that I've had already in the freezer, one full of white fish, one full of chopped necks, and I'm going to leave that to dethaw. I have some of the things that I need all set and ready to go. The first being some plastic wrap to cover the food scale just because I don't like to get it all dirty and then have to keep washing every time. If I cover it in plastic wrap, it's a lot easier to clean. I have a Sharpie because I still have some containers that I'm missing that I need to make. These containers that I use are just eight ounce containers. And I started off by doing like duct tape and then sharpieing over it, but it gets scrubbed off um, during the wash. So I just am now marking the actual Tupperwares themselves, but these are all eight ounce containers. So one container is good for one meal. So they eat two containers a day of food. And then I've got the chopping mat that uh, I won't actually be chopping anything on, but just to protect the counter so I don't have to clean as much. I got my gloves, my meat scissors that I cannot do anything without, <laughs> a meat spoon that's just for meat, and another cutting board just to keep things on. Huh. They actually sent me some socks, which I didn't actually order these, but this is super cute. Let's see what they look like. Last time I ordered, they gave me a holiday ornament as well. That was very nice. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love them. It's got a cat on one side and a dog on the other.
looks like for a month's worth of food for the ferret. So that's super exciting. Hi, Momos. Hi, Momos. Making your food. Is this all your food? Do you eat this because you're a big girl? Oh my god. You are naughty. You're the naughty boy that gets into the box. Yes, you are. All right, I'm back after maybe two and a half hours of meal prepping. I'm finally finished and I will show you the finished product. So this is what my freezer looks like, a month's worth of raw food in here. And I have necks, fish, and extra food, gizzards, and hearts up there. So that is what a month's worth of food for four ferrets looks like. And if you're wondering where I keep my food, it's usually in the drawers. Uh, we don't buy a lot of frozen food, so it works for us, but yeah, we're finally done! Now it's time for the fun part, cleaning up, and I made a really big mess over there, so yeah. But anyways, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and useful. I will be inserting a picture of the meal plan at the end of this video because during my meal prep is usually I'll switch things around. I won't always follow what I have written down. So I'll put a picture, but just so you guys are aware, a little disclaimer. If your ferrets are not used to eating raw food, they must be properly transitioned on over to it. It must be done a certain way. Please do not attempt to follow my meal plan unless you are currently feeding raw. And even then, if you're currently feeding raw and you're looking to do whole grinds, please talk to me first before you go like mixing and matching and adding things to the grinds because you want it to be overall balanced um, even if you were to add extra goodies to it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye! All right, so here is my meal plan and my proteins that I will be doing for this month is duck, turkey, rabbit, muskrat, pork, and fish. Now the pork is only for one meal because I'm testing to see if Momo really is sensitive to hoofed animals because turns out she might not be and that was just a fluke in the beginning of her transition. Her body just wasn't ready to handle hoofed prey at that point. But now I think, you know, it's been enough time for her. And so I'm trying it again. And turkey is not included in too many meals because turkey is not generally their most favorite thing in the world. And muskrat is a new protein. Um, it is a wild animal and it's uh, pretty cool. I think the only place that you can get it is from my pet carnivore. And I'm super excited to try it. And... There's sort of a rhyme or reason for what I've done on this meal plan, sort of not. A lot of it's just kind of random. The heart signs are is just a reminder for me to work on trick training with Patsu or just giving them extra treats like heart and whatnot, hence the heart symbol. Some meals, there's chicken feet, 
to up the bone percentage. Some meals there's chicken neck for the same reason. Some I do fish. I only do fish like three times a week right now and etc. So again, like I said before, please do not try to recreate this if you do not know what you're doing. You could very easily throw off the natural balance with the whole prey grinds, so you, you don't want to do that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Thanks!